Hey, welcome back. So today we're working on a Toyota Venza. We have one working key, one new key that's not programmed. And the big question is, how do I plug in the cables? What cables can I use? So we're gonna be going in through the glove box. I'll show you that kind of step by step. I have videos below, check out those links below. But the big question is, which cable can I use? Can I use this machine? Can I use that machine? So check out the links below and you can try this machine or that machine. But let's kind of look at this. So we have the, the Advanced Agnostics ADC 2021 cable. That's gonna be the primary cable that I use with the Smart Pro. So if we're also using a the Altel like the 508, and I believe it'll work with the 608, we can use, let's see if it's labeled, the OBD star, this is that 30 pin cable. Uh, it's gonna be the same type of cable. It's just gonna be more beefy for that Smart Pro Advanced Anosic one, but same kind of concept. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we're gonna open up the glove box and we're gonna first notice the little tabs here. Pinch. And it comes off, cool. And then I'm going to comes out like so. The little tabs on the back of the glove box and stick that there. And now I'm gonna have to look, I need a plug in here, but I need to kind of pull this down. So I'm going to, use, so we can use the wedge like this, or we can look, um, some of them have the little tabs where I'm going to press and pull. Press and pull. Press and pull. So if I press my thumb up in there, I can press and it unlatches. Cool. But using a something like that will help your fingers down the road. And we're gonna see this. So now I need to get in here. How can I? So if I flex, as you can see, the, the plastic flexes. Cool, that's all I really need. And then now that we have the panels down, let's go ahead and look at the wires. And we're going to look up here. And through here, that gap, you can see. Oh, well, here's the certain modules. We have one, two, and three, the topmost one. We need to take that out. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just feeling. I'm going to pinch. So I switch, I'm using my right hand in here. I'm gonna press that tab, right hand, cool, shabam. And now let's go ahead and plug in that ADC cable. Got that plugged in, and now we need to plug in that section back into the CERT unit. Before you plug it in, pay attention to which side has that plug, that lock, which side doesn't. I need to plug it in in that orientation. So I'm gonna weasel my hand back up there. So I took off the side panel so I can see a little better in there. Can I get a better shot? I can see with my eyes, but with the camera. So there's the plug. So it's hard to explain and show on camera, but if I take this panel off, I can have my eyes see through here. The camera doesn't focus because everything's in the foreground and the background, but I can use my eyes to see here, my hands to go in through here and plug in. It takes maybe 45 seconds to a minute or so. Now that it's plugged in, I'm having the Smart Pro connect to the, the phone's Wi-Fi. I have the new key and the old key, my workspace in the passenger seat, and I have access to that push button. Uh, pretty simple. Okay, sorry about the glare, but we're at the 21 through 24 Venza push button. We have zero voltage. We're not plugged in through the OBD. We're plugged in through the CERT module. Wi-Fi connected good. Now, if we look at 1224, that's gonna be NASTA related. We don't have the pin code. We're gonna do TIS bypass. So let's do 1225. That's gonna be for those new generation keys. Check out Advanced Agnostics. They will cover that ex more detailed. Let's go ahead and proceed. And press the push start. Dash is up. And this is an EV. Doesn't really matter for that, but cool. Add prox keys. Yes. We are good on that. Okay. Yes. Active internet, yes. So we wanna turn off. Dash is off. Okay. Yes, it's connected. Yes, it's connected. 
So if you wanna see how to do this with like the Altel, check out the links below. Same kind of process, plugging in the same thing, but just different prompts, if that makes sense. Smart Pro will be faster by like two, three minutes. Okay. Good. Okay. Keys. I'm going to pick up the original key. One beep. And the new key. Two beeps. I noticed the dash is off. I didn't even turn it on. Don't even really need that. Okay. Let's do the ID reg box. Let's say failed. Nothing's gonna work just yet until we do ID reg box. And we start with the original key. Now we switch on. It's on. Take original key. Good. Now we check, we turn the vehicle off. Good. And good. And this, this is an OEM key, it just only has prompts like that. So cool, and we are good. So now let's go ahead and disconnect and put everything back. Uh, people have a lot of questions about that too. Okay, so now to unplug, I'm gonna reach my hand in there. I'm gonna follow that thick cable. And you see my finger, I'm just going to just by feel, I, I'm looking at the screen, but I'm going to press in. Let's try the other hand. There you go. Index finger, press in. I'm grabbing with my hands here, um, index finger. Cool, out. I'm gonna use two hands to disconnect that. Cables are separate, now I'm gonna plug this back in, backwards. So I'm going to, probably just, I'm getting the hang of it. I haven't done the bends in like a month, but I'm gonna work backwards so I have my tab here, which is gonna face that orientation, how it plugs in. I'm gonna use left hand. Wiggle those wires up there. Line it up. Hear that click, good. Gentle tug, good. Nice. And Oh no, what do we do? Do we need duct tape? No, we just look at those little loops in the back. For these, I need two hands to line it up. So I lined them up back there. Press in, press in, press in, press in. It's flush, good. Glove box, hinges secure, lift up. It latches and then we gotta attach this. Pull down, press in, pretty simple. Close. Is it flush? Yes, it's flush, good. And now that part, and we're good. And, and we're I have it, I'm gonna decode it as a Toyota 4Runner Slim Cut. It's the top option, simple. And we're good to go. Other than that, let's check it and you're good to go. Thanks, bye.